I was separated from my parents and had to live with my grandpa for two years because of my family's financial situation. At that age, there were so many things I couldn't understand as a child, like I was bullied at school, had no lunch to eat, and had nobody to talk to after school. So I grew up to be quite insecure. On top of that, taking a walk with my grandpa sometimes turned into a disaster. One day, I was literally sitting right next to him on the park bench, and I saw him drinking soju and emptying those soju vodka bottles one by one. Then he stood up and walked away. Time I realized that he was not coming back to get me, he was long gone. I was so scared and exhausted. Then there was a kind of stranger who brought me to the police. And that kind action changed the course of my life forever. Kindness. The quality of being friendly, generous, and considerate is something that we all have. If one single kind action has the potential to change someone's life forever, what kind of impact would millions of kind actions have? We can use our kindness to solve our epidemic of missing people. When we hear news about missing people or receive Amber Alerts, while we feel unhappy, there's little action that we can take personally. It's not that we aren't sorry or don't want to help. We just don't know what to do. Today, I propose an idea on how we and millions of other kind of strangers can come together to defeat the social issues like missing people, human trafficking, homelessness, and elderly health care. The FBI reports that 337,000 children went missing in 2021. According to the CDC, more than 75 million people have autism spectrum disorder and 50 million people have dementia worldwide. And more than half of those vulnerable populations are prone to wander into dangerous or sometimes deadly situations. We are talking about millions of families with ASD and dementia patients whose top priorities in their daily lives are keeping those loved ones safe and protected. Most of the people who wander are found, but some never come back. See, if you think about it, every 90 seconds, one child goes missing in the US. During the course of the 10 minutes while I'm on this stage, several kids will be reported missing. In fact, there are hundreds of missing people on a daily basis, but not all of them are even reported. As a mother of two children myself, my kids' safety is my highest priority. However, I lost my younger one when she was three years old at a shopping center temporarily. The feeling of losing my own child was impossible to bear. And the memories of my childhood rang within me once again. I came home that day feeling so scared and exhausted, just like the day that I was left alone at the park. I knew my daughter was way too young to carry any smart devices or wear GPS gadgets. As a fashion designer myself, I invented smart clothing by embedding motion washable, coin thin tracking device in between two layers of clothing fabric so that my child wouldn't even know about it and I could wash it just like regular clothing. 
My friend Harold, who served as an NYPD police officer for 24 years, encountered numerous, numerous missing cases. He told me, every elderly with Alzheimer's who walked out of their senior facility always, always hold on to one thing. Guess what it is? Their clothing. My kid's nursery school principal once lost a student, and she reported to the police and the family four hours afterwards because she was so afraid of losing her school's reputation. The police conducted an extensive search outside only to find the child was actually taking a nap inside of one of the cabinets. <laughs> These nursery kids are way too young to carry anything. See, my idea is transforming our hopelessness when we hear news about missing people into direct action and ampli amplifying the kindness that we already have, we already possess, with the help of smart clothing and Internet of Things technology. It's actually about you making the decision to become a kind stranger, finding missing children and elderly, protecting our public schools safe, and helping those in need in a way we never have before. Here are the steps that we can take. Step one, let's use our second skin, which is our clothing, for embedding smart sensors and smart tags. Step number two, we leverage the best of IoT, Bluetooth, GPS, AI, and other interdependent networking platforms to create a thing called Verified Strangers Super Hub. Step three, missing people will be found smart devices and related applications. And step four, unlike the kind stranger who took me to the police when I was a kid, the kind strangers within this network will be rewarded with digital currency. Step five, the platform will be unified by national organizations, federal agencies, and fashion brands. Step six, this would, this would not only create the safer and kinder communities, it will create new type of jobs, like citizen job, volunteer jobs, or helper's job. This will reduce the economic gaps because your kindness works as a currency. Can you imagine the world where you earn your income just because you are who you are and you are kind? My friend Laura blocks her apartment door every single night with her own bed because that way her daughter with autism cannot wander away in the middle of the night. I'm a mother and daughter who wants to create the kinder, and safer place so that no one's left behind. The smart clothing with this type of technology, kind of technology, is what I believe the next generation of technology will be like. I know the world is so much, there is so much uncertainty in the world, but we can continue to choose to show our kindness in a responsibly connected network and create the world in ways we never thought possible before. I want to thank the kind stranger who brought me to the police when I was left alone at the park. I can't imagine what my life would be like if 
the stranger was actually a child of doctor. And I want to thank you for your kindness. It is through the national link of kind strangers that we can all be brought together, even though we are all strangers at first glance. Thank you.